The safety and anti-dry fire mechanism on your crossbow are designed to keep both you the shooter and your bow safe from injury and or damage. And I thought it was important to take a more of an in-depth look at crossbow safeties and anti-dry fire mechanisms. So on this segment of the crossbow safety and education series, we'll show you a few examples of the types of crossbow safeties you can expect to find on today's crossbows. We'll also show you a few examples of anti-dry fire mechanisms and explain what makes each of those different. Let's take a look at safeties first. Every crossbow will have a safety of some sort. Yours may be auto-engaging, meaning that when you cock your crossbow, the safety will automatically move from the fire position to the safe position. Or, you may have a safety that requires you to manually put it in the safe position after your crossbow is cocked. In either case, it's a good habit to visually check to make sure that your safety is indeed in the safe position after you cock your crossbow. Some safeties will be located either on the trigger housing just underneath the sight bridge and others will be located at the back of the trigger housing or in front of it located somewhere in the barrel of the crossbow. So let's go over some examples of crossbow safeties. Okay, the first bow we have here is a Carbon Express crossbow with an auto engaging safety located on the side of the trigger housing. Watch when the bow is cocked the safety will move from the fire position to the safe position. Okay, here we have a Parker crossbow with a rear mounted auto engaging safety. As the string would come back into the latch, the safety moves into the safe position. Okay, last we have a mission crossbow with the safety located in front of the trigger assembly and it's mounted in the barrel right here. Okay, when we pull back on the string, the safety will not move, so you must manually put it into the safe position. The bow is cocked, we push the safety from the side and now you're safe to go. Okay, next we are going to take a look at three types of anti-dry fire mechanisms. The first one we have here is from Camex crossbows. And the way theirs works is that it won't let you put the crossbow into the fire position without having an arrow loaded into the crossbow. They have what is known as the PAR, and that's this red thing you see here, and it stands for Pivoting Arrow Retainer. And what it does is hold the arrow in place when you slide an arrow between it and the barrel, and then at the same time, there is a lever that will pivot out of the way of the safety allowing you to move it from the safe position to the fire position. So right now there's no arrow in it and you can't push it into the safe position. Now watch as I slide this arrow back. The, the lever moves out of the way and now we could put the bow into the fire position. I'm going to put it back in the safe. We're going to remove our arrow and now it won't go back into fire position without an arrow loaded into the bow. So that's how the Camex anti-dry fire works. The next bow we have here is a Wicked Ridge crossbow. Now with both the 10 point and Wicked Ridge anti-dry fire mechanisms, they actually allow the safety to be moved into the fire position and allow the bow to be shot without an arrow loaded but then the anti-dry fire mechanism catches the string before it has a chance to do any damage to your crossbow. Now, I don't have an arrow loaded all the way back here and you can see that the lever on the ADF is down. Once I move the arrow back, the lever will move out of the way and allow the bow to function properly and you can shoot this crossbow. But without an arrow in loaded into the bow, the string will still be allowed to be released by the latch, but this lever on the ADF will actually catch the string and prevent any damage. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. So right now the lever's down. I'm going to slide this arrow back and the lever goes up. 
Now this bow would function how it's supposed to and you can fire this arrow. But I'm going to remove the arrow, the lever goes down. Now I'm going to actually put the bow into the fire position and pull the trigger. And as you can see, the ADF catches the string and the bow doesn't fire, the limbs don't go forward, the string doesn't go down to its resting position, and the bow is perfectly safe. We'll just have to recock it again and then uh, we'll be ready to go. So that's how the 10 point and the Wicked Ridge anti dry fire works. The last anti dry fire mechanism we'll show you is on a Parker crossbow. With Parker system, the safety can be put into the fire position and then the trigger can also be pulled, but the latch will not release the string unless an arrow is loaded into the crossbow. And I'll show you how this one works too. So well, here we have our bow. We currently have the safety is in the safe position and as you can see the bow's cocked and there's no arrow loaded. So we're going to go ahead, put it in the fire position and then pull the trigger. And as you can see, no dry fire. Well, we just took an in-depth look at the most popular styles of safeties and anti-dry fire mechanisms. As stated before, these devices are here to help ensure our safety as crossbow hunters and to prevent our crossbows from damage in case we forget to load an arrow and have an accident. However, even though these safety devices are here to help us, it's truly the responsibility of the crossbow shooter to practice safe shooting habits each and every time you shoot your crossbow.